I wanted to do this video for you all to show you the products that I use on my natural hair and I said to myself why not take it outside so here we are we are outside nestled in naturality and so I figured what better way than to show you all the natural products for natural hair than sitting in the naturality all around us right okay so let's get started so my first product today is going to be water it's not a product per se but so often we tend to forget and we tend to leave out one of the most important elements that we need in order for our hair to thrive we always think of the store-bought items or the DIYs and we never think of the things that actually go into our bodies so my first today is water agua good old water I think that what goes into our bodies has a lot to do with what comes out and like every other organ in our body we can't survive without water so our hair thrives on water not just outside when we do our washes and co-washes and deep conditions but also when we drink a lot of water so this has helped tremendously in helping my hair to stay moisturized and with green as well and speaking of good old vitamins vitamins this supplement has done very well for me so far so it's one of the things that I have recently added to my hair care regimen I will leave a link down at the bottom for you so you could go to my blog and see a full review on this product that I posted recently but if you're looking for a supplement it helps very much in not just your hair but this one helps greatly with my skin and my nails as well so for the full review you can check on the link below now recently I started using the Shea Moisture Coconut and High Viscous line and the Curl Enhancing Smoothie was already part of my regimen I used it I, my sister introduced me to it actually sometime in 2013 and I have been using it since then 2013 2014 thereabouts and I have been using it since then and this smoothie has worked very very well for me it keeps the hair super moisturized and at night when I do my nightly moisturizing it helps greatly to seal in that moisture that I need for the mornings when I need my hair to be super soft so I have also included recently the curling gel souffle and the conditioning co-wash now this souffle let me tell you this allows for my twist outs to be so defined it gives that nice definition to the twist outs without having that crunch without having it feel so hard that some of the gels may have it feel so this i really really like it leaves the hair super moisturized and it lasts for a very very long time without getting that crunch or that hard feeling that you would get normally and the co-wash I find has done very very good for me also as a detangler so whenever I use this co-wash it works very very well for my hair if I get up in the morning and I totally was feeling lazy the night before in order to moisturize my hair I just jump into the shower wet my hair throw on a little bit of this while in the shower and it smooths the hair right out so this is a very very good addition to the Shea Moisture products that I have put recently this hair too the Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore treatment mask I added this one because I needed to get something different other than the oils or the mayo deep conditions that I normally use it actually leaves the hair super super soft and I think it has been one of the great additions to my hair care regimen and it has been very very good to me so far so this is something you all could definitely try it really does smell like play-doh and I like it I I'm not sure why I'm a crazy person I'm not sure why call me weird but the scent of the play-doh actually works very well for me it, it's it's nice so that's it for my Shea Moisture line now the next thing I want to go on to is the Eco Styler Gel who with natural hair goes without Eco Styler Gel right I love this gel it, it keeps my hair nicely slicked when I need that look on my buns or if I do just a sweep to the side and I need that hole without feeling too hard or too crunchy it keeps it nice and tight and it also defines the little waves onto the side that I really really like as well now one of the other products in my hair care regimen is my DIY Shea Butter Cream I normally make this almost on a monthly basis because I use this thing so quickly I use it especially for my stretch styles if I need to put my hair up in a nice high puff I put it on at night together with my spray bottle and I braid it up really tight and in the morning it's nice and stretched that I can put in my puffed look or if I want to wear my hair really big in an afro so this has definitely worked very well for me so far guys now we are down to my holy grail 
castor oil and coconut oil. Now these two here, nothing beats these two. They are both locally made. Castor oil, this is our family friend who normally makes this, so I get it from her whenever she produces. And this one, my mom and I make ourselves whenever we are done and we need to replenish our stock. Now, as you can see, my castor oil is running very, very low. So I am pinching this, guys. I am really pinching because I am waiting on the production from our friend. So as soon as I get this, I can go ahead and use it as normal. But the coconut oil also works very, very well. I have found that it helps a lot with the tension in the scalp. And what I have been doing for the past few weeks, I have started burning the oil into an oil diffuser. Not that it is too hot, but when it gets warm enough, I put it into the scalp and do my scalp massages. And I have found that it has helped very, very well with circulation and also with relaxing my muscles onto my scalp whenever I go to bed. So in the morning when I wake up, my scalp feels rejuvenated. It feels so, so nice, guys. That is something you all should definitely try. Warming up the coconut oil, massaging the scalp with it at night. So in the morning, you have your scalp fully rejuvenated and ready for another day of styling. The castor oil I have also used when I do my sealing, whenever I do my washes, my conditioning. I use this, the castor oil to seal in that moisture while in the shower. So while the hair is still wet, I apply the castor oil, braid it up a little bit, and then go on to doing the other moisturizing that I normally do with my hair. So guys, this is it. I'm so happy that we could have been outside. It's a little windy and we're in nature, right? So we expect all these things. So I thank you guys for watching. I am looking forward to you in my next video. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.